Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm going to show you how to combine a lot and snow. So let's click on new project, blank project. And I'm going to give you a link to my Dropbox. And in that link you will need to download these four files. And in this video I'll just give you one type of snow. But I have one more video in which I give you three different types. So the link to that video is going to be appearing here in the end of this video. So check it out. Okay, so I'm clicking no compression for the snow six. No compression for the face mesh. And no compression for the LUT. Also for the filtering, I, I'm going to put none. Now I'm clicking add object. And searching for rectangle. I'm going to call this rectangle background just BG. Okay. And now I'm going to make width fill width, fill height, plus to create material. This material also going to be BG, which stands for background. And it's going to be flat. So there is no um, so the lights are not going to affect this material. Okay, so now I'm adding one more thing. It's going to be face mesh. And for this face mesh, I'm going to click plus, create new material. And this one is going to be retouch. And type is retouching. And here I'm going to also call it retouch. And let's add one more face mesh. It's going to be face slot. And I'm clicking plus to create the material. Face slot. And then it's going to be flat. OK. Everything is ready. So let's click View, Show Hide Patch Editor, and let's drag our color uh, lot. So first we can see that we need camera texture. So we are going to Camera, Plus by the Texture Extraction, and just dragging this Camera Texture to our Patch Editor panel. Second thing, we need the face tracker. So we're going to our face tracker, plus by texture extraction, and we are clicking, dragging it also to the panel. And then the third thing we need is our LUT. So I drag our LUT. Now we need camera color. Basically, camera color, that's our background, and that's the texture for our background. Make sure that you have flat. OK, so texture. And the next thing we need face color. By the way, if you need, if you see this face color kind of disappears, which I don't like, so now I'm gonna go to the face slot. I'm gonna go to advanced render options, and I'm gonna click use depth test. Now it covers the entire face. So let's go to the face slot. Actually here, texture structure, and here. We have the problem with our mouth. So now we're going to face texture and then we are clicking mouth plus and eyes and this problem disappears. And also to smooth the edges, we're going to face slot, alpha, and then we are searching this face mesh mask. Okay, so let me switch to video myself. Now we have the slot. The last thing we want to add is our snow. So I'm clicking add object and it's going to be null object and when you're going to close this face tracker you can see that our null object is still visible it means that it stands alone separately for the face tracker so it's important if you want your particles to appear on the back of the camera just not only on the front you want this um, your snow emitter i mean you want your null object to be separate from the face tracker so you see it's separate OK, now I'm clicking on the null object, add, and I'm searching for, let me resize because 
my screen. Okay, particle system. I'm searching for the particle system. Now we have our particle system, and you see it's kind of behind. So let's click plus, create new material. This material is going to be snow. Oh, don't worry about this red face. It's just back of the system. I'm just usually I pause and then I restart and then I play and it disappeared. Okay, so we have our snow and I'm switching to our flat. And now in order to make it up front, you need to uncheck use depth test and now it's up front. But look, if you're going to change to standard, for example, and then you're going to do advanced render options, it's going to be again um, you will need to disable this use depth test again. So when you change the shader type, you need to repeat the same action. So again, one more time. So now we have our snow. And let me close batch editor. Let me pause this video. Uh, then I'm going to, oh no, that was, was an accident. So now I'm going here and I'm searching for the snow flake and I'm closing the patch editor going to 2d clicking on this emitter and now I want to drag it up okay so we have up and by the way if it's difficult for you to drag or rotate and now I'm gonna rotate it down if it's difficult to you to do that I, I have one more video about snow and in that video, I actually give you coordinates here, so it's easier to do uh, the snow in that video. Okay, so now it goes down, but it's kind of just from one point. So now I'm put like a line, and then line we need to make it bigger, so it covers entire camera. And now, now I'm going to the particles. And I want to make <coughs> lifespan four seconds to make it longer. And now, for example, for the scale, we, we can make them smaller, but we can make, for example, the difference like 50%. Uh, so they're going to be smaller. Um, let me make them a little bit bigger like, like this. So they're going to be the, they, the size of them going to be different. And speed, they kind of move too fast, so I'm just going to do like this. So that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're curious about how to add snow in more easier way, uh, click here for the, um, another video of my About Snow. And that's it. Bye-bye, guys.